We're at the Hangman booth here at the National Hardware Show, and I wanted to show you this. This is a way to hang a sound bar. We've talked about some of the different things from Hangman, where they're hanging TVs and shelves and different things around the booth here. But a sound bar, something that we can kind of struggle with when we're trying to put in that uh, surround sound system. Steve, tell us how this works. It's a very simple uh, system because there's two brackets that you can attach the sound bar to. Virtually almost every sound bar on the market. And when you do take it, you can see how it's attached. Once again, with tiny nails, virtually does not damage the wall, and it has a built-in level. So when you wind up taking it, it's fast and easy to install. It comes with a template, so you don't have a problem doing right and left. And when you attach it, it's so simple, so easy. Now there's a solution to do sound bars. Now, how much weight can it handle? And can it do larger sound bars? Uh, it can do virtually any size because you separate these to the distance between one and the other. And with nails, this thing is going to hold 50 pounds. Nice. Easily ho hold any sound bar we have. See, if people would like to find out more information or a spot to purchase this sound bar hanger, where can they go? Uh, in approximately another week, it'll be both available at Walmart. And at the same time, the No Stud TV hanger is currently available at Walmart in all stores in North in uh, the USA. That sounds great. We'll put link in the, links in the description below so you guys can go check out the sound bar hanger and the No Stud TV hanger. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.